Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Pańska International, Neil Artisan Educator here, and today we are going to do a beautiful pink Christmassy kind of wintery look, Neil, so you can have a wee preview in here. Yes, I love that blink and a snowflake, and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below, and if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button to don't miss any future tutorials from me. Let's start! <laughs> So I've got my model here again with me and I'm going to shape her free edge, natural nails, shape them nice and then we will apply the form to do some pink Christmas nails and I really fancy it on my nails as well like some kind of chrome, pink chrome looks and some snowflakes and other different bits and pieces to kind of get those pink Christmas. <laughs> Uh, nails and I'm definitely going to record it on my nails soon because they are desperate like my nails are desperate to get done like honestly guys I I really don't like them anymore now <laughs> I'm embarrassed actually of them um, now I've got the form which I'm just going to apply into my beautiful model put it on the back trim the form I always trim the form for a client's nails as well um, cut one side cut other side that allows me to pinch really well I wouldn't cut the triangles but I need to for the finger uh, just because obviously it isn't a live person I need to make sure like that I can apply the form I pre-pinch it in between the fingers and then close the form a little bit just so it's easier to apply it on the nail I don't like the form which goes like down the way so that will be a position of the form going down I like the form which comes out really nice and straight uh, so first of all I would concentrate oh gosh I would concentrate this middle part is really in the middle and then I would start closing the form but I wanted it to be kind of nice and straight that's it yeah, I'm happy and then once I'm happy I can Close the form completely into a nice shape. You can see the side view as well. Perfect. Okay, that's my form applied and we are going to do some snowflake design in pink yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> so i've got some pink uh, like a very no that's maybe even too dark but yeah well, eh, no that is too dark okay i'm just going to quickly mix my acrylic powder to be not as dark because this is far too dark pink so i need to add a white in there quite a lot white actually and mix it really well i use it the vibrant orange it's like a really bright neon pink and i mix it just with the white that is better and then we are going to use some blush color. I like blush color as a background better than the clear uh, color because the clear color sometimes like um, it just doesn't look as nice and the blush color covers any kind of imperfection. So I'm just applying a tiny bit of the liquid. Remove the air bubbles from my brush. And working on the wet side like I quite like on the wet side I'm just going to put the extension like a really nice and thin one so I've got those clear base to work on and the clear base is pretty important especially when the clients come back for a uh, for a rebalance like you don't want to file it all the way through through the entire nail really to get rid of the color 
recipe and we are going to create a coffin shaped meal. So we'll get this nice and neat, just so you don't have to pile as much later on. I'm not the big fan of filing too much. I rather to play more with my product than file too much. Here I'm going to the letter L. And letter M would be probably the shortest. You would get a nice coffin shape. Letter L is ideally even better. Okay, clean my brush again. And now we are going to... Uh, do those ombre look with some star and some glitter. Okay, so I'm just picking up a small bit of the pink. Again, pretty wet. see it didn't actually mix it well but it's okay that can actually give us a pretty interesting look so I'm just brushing it down to my free edge So just tap, tap, and then brush it. I'm just filling up those wee missing corner here and now we are going to blend it so I'm picking up another scoop of my monomer and a small amount of the powder like really wet just apply it there and now we are going to brush it to the top so we want to blend that out And blend this nicely in. Filling that, those missing gap in there where the new join. And if you're working pretty wet, uh, you can get a really nice, much nicer blending than if you would work too, too dry. Okay. Now in this place, I want to place my V star. But I'm going to actually do it, maybe even higher. I'm going to do it while I'm blending the top part. Of the ombre so I've got some blush and I'm just dragging it down over my ombre up the wee star actually I wish they would be a little bit smaller because they are quite large in size so quite difficult to get them encapsulated And then taking a clear acrylic powder, we are going to add more sparkle to more sparkle through it. So I've got some born pretty glitter. 
clear acrylic powder just a tiny bit and now we are going to fill up with some glitter I like it because this glitter is kind of see-through and you can do it kind of in an ombre style as well so like don't apply it right through the end now my next step is to encapsulate everything with clear and then shape this new So I'm just pick up my clear bit. Nice and thin around the cuticle area. You don't want too much product in there. Be a little bit more at your apex area. So I'm going to keep this ball in there. And this will also encapsulate my uh, snowflake. And then encapsulate the pink. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Just a drop more. At the free edge. Wait for it to polymerize and then we can give it a very gentle pinch to it. And shape a nice shape. I really actually want the pink Christmas nails. Like really badly, guys. Uh, so the next tutorial, like after this one, is definitely getting rid of the snails and creating something nice and pinky for myself. And yeah, the stars could be just a size smaller. I think it will be much easier to encapsulate them because they are so pretty, uh, but just a little bit too, too big. In my product is getting there. No, it's still not set. And the reason for it, why it takes so long, is just because the um, finger doesn't produce any heat. And the warmer it is, the, the better the acrylic, uh, the quicker the acrylic is set. So a couple seconds longer and then we can pinch. Okay, and yep that's it ready so you can pre-pinch it in between your fingers and then just squish it a little bit more with a pinching tweezer or a pinching clamp any other tool you've got for acrylic acrylic pinching and i like those pinched look to the nails because they look slimmer than much slimmer much nicer uh, obviously when you're doing a client nail you have to make sure it is not painful for them and not every nail would be suitable for pinching. Like if you've got a client which has really weak nails, I wouldn't recommend pinching, okay? So now we just need to shape this nail. So I'm just filing the free edge first. Nice and straight, nice and straight. For coffin shape, you really want to have those, uh, those sharp, straight look to it. Then turn on the side, even out the side walls. Do couple scratches first, like you don't want to overfile it. So do couple first, leave it, go on the other side and do the same. 
So this way you know where you're going like and you can get a better shape. Sometimes filing less is better than over filing. Okay, I'm checking how my situation look on the hairline. And I can straight away tell I've got a little bit more product on this side. Okay, I can start lifting this side up. Blend everything around the cuticle area. Blend the other side. Lift this side up. So I'm kind of filing at the angle now. I'm going to the top. And then remove the bulk of the product. So acrylic is um, not producing as much dust as the gel does when we're filing, just because it's much harder to file. Okay, straightening up my side walls and then remove the book. And we are getting almost there, so I'm just taking a brush. Check how the things look. I need to kind of make it more joined in together. Especially where the star is, but you need to also be careful to don't overfile it. Because we have put more product there just so this uh, large snowflake is kind of encapsulated. Okay, and that's my new file, so I'm just going to pull this tape away as well. I don't need it anymore. Clean the dust and use the buffer. When we're using the buffer, um, you have to make sure the buffer is kind of like um, pretty sharp. So I'm using a hundred grit on my acrylic to smooth it. the final touch and I love the pink Christmasy look to it so I'm just buffing it in what else you could do is you could take a tiny bit of the blue scrap to kind of blend the acrylic as well so it's even nicer and then we can apply the top coat or we could do a tiny bit uh, more of the design I think it will look Good also in a matte and in a shiny look as well. Um, and we will go for a shiny look. Yeah, go for shiny look. So I'm just applying the top coat to the entire nail. Just to show all this sparkle. Okay. 
Yeah, that's a, so nice. And I like uh, how the glitter actually matches the, the shade of the sparkle as well. Uh, so that's the new which we have created. Now, guys, obviously this tip is kind of like a loose, so it's pretty uh, hard to work on it. But I hope you still enjoy it and you can learn quite a lot uh, when I can use those uh, fake finger. I'm just going to pop it inside the lamp. Uh, just to give it a cure and then clean it and show you the final look. Please, please, please let me know down in the comments below what you think of my acrylic tutorials. As I say, I'm kind of like a more gel girl. Uh, so acrylic isn't my biggest strength, I would maybe say it. Um, I kind of like it the way you can create slightly different designs that you would do it with the gel. Uh, and that's make it even this channel more interesting because uh, I can show you guys a full range of different kind of styles like more advanced something very easy something with gel something with the acrylic uh, and i think uh, yeah this way you can kind of enjoy it, it more as well but i want to know what you think as well now that's my top coat cure and that's the finished look of this uh, beautiful pink crease massignol so look at this uh, sparkle coming through it is so nice but yeah glittery hacks and bye for now